Hello, my name is Lincoln Cyrus, and I chose If You Lived in Colonial Times for my informational book. If You Lived in Colonial Times is by Anne McGovern. If You Lived in Colonial Times has a Lexile of 590L, and it is intended for children 7 to 10 years old. It has an interest level of 3rd through 5th grade. The book is very organized and uses subheaders as questions. For example, the book says, how did they wear their hair? And what did the people eat? The book uses these to tell about the people's lives during the colonial times. For example, the book tells about how the people dressed, how they got their food, how they traveled, how mail was transported, and how they went to school, who went to school, and things like that. I believe that the illustrations in this book really help the book with its content to help the readers understand. For example, it tells about how the children went to school, some of them didn't and some of them did during this time, but the children used books called the New England Primer and the book was used and special books called horn books. The author tells how a horn book is not a real book to, with pages to turn, but instead it is a piece of wood with printed pages on each side. A third through fifth grade or seven through 10 year old might not understand this, but through the illustration, they can see what a horn book looks like and that it isn't a book to turn pages, but just something to flip over. The book uses many illustrations like this. For example, it tells about how the people were punished with stocks and had to put their feet or their heads in them and that people could come by, laugh at them, throw apples, things like that. The book also tells about how the people lived on Sundays. And this tells about how the people's religion, beliefs, and values were that they might not get if they're just studying this unit in history. I believe that this book would be great to use to accompany students to learn about um, the colonial period around Jamestown, that time period in history. I believe that the teacher could use this as a read aloud or just studying throughout the unit, unit, have a printed page for the students to read more about what they're studying. I would use this book in around a fourth grade classroom and I would use this as a read aloud for certain parts just to get the students started on the book. For example, I would start the book with when was the colonial times and I would read the page about when it was and I would ask the students, what did the colonial people look like? I would have my students guess or say what they think they looked like, use their background knowledge. But I would also use this book for when we learn about the punishments. I would print out the pages of the punishments and have the students do maybe a worksheet or read the page independently and draw what they see or what they learned throughout the pic throughout the text so then I could see if they were understanding.